So, uh, Amula, final piece of advice for those who are appearing this year. Uh, so I would just say like uh, follow a three-step thing, which is basically I did know your bearats because bearats give you conceptual clarity. So even if you do not know which case, which amendment, you'll at least be able to eliminate something. Second is read judgments thoroughly, at least the more prominent ones. And the constitutional bench judgments, especially you need to know. And when you read the constitutional bench judgments, you also need to know the majority minority views, like who said what that I think is very important. Third is your full length mock tests and revisions. I think they also help you a lot, like writing a two hour full length mock test will help you understand and you know, keep your focus for that entire two hours, you also get into a reading habit. So whenever when you come across the actual question paper, your anxiety level also reduces because you're already accustomed to writing uh, papers like that and um, solve as many questions as you can like it doesn't necessarily have to be a full mock length itself sometimes you might be reading judgments you'll get bored so I used to just pick up some judiciary book and solve some MCQs that will give you conceptual clarity but I would say please don't uh, get into like secondary reading material like Avatar Singh, Mullah and all of it. Just know your bear act and illustrations plus judgments and regular mock tests would help you sail through the exam. Great. Um, anu? Yes, pretty much the same thing. I'd say don't go about reading a lot of other things. Only one thing I would like to add is go and read legal editorials from the newspaper. Sometimes your questions are directly those editorials from Indian Express or Indian Express, I think I have noticed uh, quite a few articles have come in the previous year. And first, complete practicing all the previous year questions before going on and uh, solving any other questions because at least five to seven questions are certain to be repeated. And when I say repeated, I don't mean the exact same question. I mean, exact same judgment or exact same concept, because you know, the pattern that they have now, there's very less scope of questions being repeated, but you would know 42nd amendment, you know, you know, this question has been coming. So just go through the key concepts of the 42nd amendment, for instance, that and the third thing is, even if you see the paper and you feel like none of these topics are familiar to me, just be calm, take a deep breath. And like she said, read the questions and a lot of answers are there in the question paper itself. So that will give you an edge over somebody who just sees ki, oh, this is a labor law question. This is a company law question. Like it happened to me because company law is just something like, you know, weak, weak point, I would say. So, but if you like keep your foot down, take a deep breath and read. And if you are able to understand English and if you have a grasp of how laws are written, any law in any field, you will be able to answer at least 50% of those questions, at least.